Hey YouTube, we got another video of how to diagnose and repair. I have a client of mine. Uh, their computer is not working. Um, show you real quick what it does. Okay, so it's loading up. And then we have an error, a device error. So we're going to log into the BIOS and see what's up. Okay, well, it's saying it's a hard drive and CD ROM there. So let's go ahead and just exit without saving. And turn it back on. Hmm, the only thing I can see is me looking through the tablet. <laughs> nah, there's the gateway. Port zero device error still. Let's see. F1 to resume. So the motherboard's working because it's slowing up the memory tests. Um, I don't know. Uh, the error eventually comes up with uh, select correct boot sector, I believe it is. I'm thinking it's a hard drive. They said that they uh, they unplugged the computer like three different times by just hitting the power switch or unplugging it from the power outlet. So I'm thinking the hard drive got fried. Still not loading anything up. We'll check on that in a little bit. All right, we're coming up with a different error now, or a message: Windows failed to start a recent hardware or software change might be the cause to fix this problem insert your windows installation disk restart choose your language settings and then click next or click repair your computer uh well the only option it gives me is enter os selection it said enter and it doesn't look like it's doing anything uh the uh, error right above it is said doing something so that device is missing <laughs> it might be missing the hard drive <laughs> no shit right let's give it a second Windows has incurred a encountered a problem communicating with the device connected to your computer this error can be caused by unplugging and removing storage device such as an external USB drive while the device is in use or by faulty hardware such as a hard drive or CD-ROM hard drive <laughs> that's what I'm saying that it's messed up make sure any removable storage uh, properly connected then restart your computer if you want to continue receiving this error message contact the hardware manufacturer unexpected error okay so It looks like we're gonna have to open it up. Yay! Because this is what we're opening. <laughs> awesome. So let's open this up and let's ah, the see message finally came up. Reboot and select proper boot device, or insert boot media and select boot device and press any key. Yeah, it's a hard drive. We're gonna open this up. Good luck. All right, so I went ahead and unplugged everything. Uh, not much to it. It just had power and USB. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, this was being a little stubborn, but it's coming off now. Um, I have a piece of cardboard here, just so I could hold this side open. So now I have to open up this other side. Looks like we're going to have some more screws. Well, this is fantastic. Okay. Let's see what we have to do. Alright, I went ahead and took off the screws here. And, uh, this can be the hard drive here. And plug that. And take the screws off. Oh, there's the hard drive. And now this should have free up. <laughs> Sweet. All I did was unplug this one here. It's pretty dusty. So we're going to go ahead and blow this with a blower. Get it all cleaned up. So we're just going to dust it off. Yeah, a lot clean. There's no dirt in here anymore. All that dust is gone from here. Sweet. All the dust has gone from here. Here. All I had to do was blow it. Quick. Done. Data. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Uh, well, we have to mount this one back up because it has these plugs in here so we can read right. We're going to leave that open. We're going to mount the hard drive back in. And... Uh, Turn it on and see it's actually a little loose. I don't think that really matters. It's on there pretty good. Just making sure everything's nice and pushed in. Okay. So let's melt everything back in. See what it tells us this time. Feel the hard drive spinning. Still giving the same error. Hmm. But the hard drive is spinning though. If we unplug the hard drive.
try to turn it on. Let's see what happens. It goes right away to boot device. It's not available. So, are you reading the hard drive? So I have an external hard drive that I took off and I put it on there. This is the old one. It has 750 gigabytes. This one only has uh, 500. But the whole deal for this is to see if uh, the hard drive is bad. This is basic troubleshooting. So we determined that the hard drive is bad, so we're going to swap out the hard drive. Make sure it is the hard drive. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Still same error. Uh, what I did was connect this other hard drive to my computer. I ran a check disk. Bad sectors. Hopefully this fixes it. Windows had, has made corrections to the file system. Correcting errors. Hopefully this works. Alright, so I'm making a bootable USB drive uh, for Windows 10 for the computer that I'm fixing, 64-bit. And what I'm doing right now is I'm converting the USB to a bootable USB with Windows 10 operating system. So hopefully we'll give this a try with the new hard drive I have in there and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so I have the hard drive there now. And I made the bootable USB. So we're gonna put this in here. Turn it on. Hopefully it boots. F12, go to the boot menu. Sweet, it's right there. Yes. Awesome. It's working. Windows is loading files. Windows is starting. Yes. Cool. First steps. So we'll let it install and hopefully it's uh it works. Go through the steps here. And we're gonna go to custom and I'm using just the keyboard, no mouse. Uh there's the five hundred gig hard drive that I just installed. So we're going to Let's see, let's go into driver options. Alright, sweet. So we're going to delete the partition. And then create a new partition. Apply. Okay. Sweet. System primary. Sweet. Okay, cool. So let's go to next. Copy in Windows files. Expanding Windows files. So we'll let that process go and we'll check on it in a little bit. Okay, so I did that first process. Copy installation.
I have Windows 10 downloading over here. But can you see it? Six hours left. <laughs> Four gigs. Wow. That's a long time. So Windows 7 will have to do. We'll just upgrade this one later. Cool, and it's starting Windows now. Just doing the system checks. Sweet, and we have the credential page here. We have to put in the username and password. So it worked. Uh, this computer is fixed. We'll just finish the installation and install Microsoft Office in it and get this product out. Thank you for watching. So we went ahead and typed in the username and the uh, password we're going to leave blank. Product key. Alright, so let's go ahead and finishing up the product now. And there it is. Computer's fixed.